Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane, author of the book, Knowledge to Forage, Wild Edible and Medicinal Plants and Trees. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world today. And thank you all for joining me here on this absolutely fresh late summer's morning. The air is crisp, autumn is on the breeze, all the fruits and berries are starting to bloom in abundance. So I'm out absolutely blessed to be spending my morning with my good friend, the Rowan tree. The Rowan tree is a fascinating tree, also known as the mountain ash. It's a great source of food for wildlife and it's also a great source of food for people too. Plus, it has some powerful medicinal properties and it's also surrounded in a wealth of folklore and mythology too. So if you're interested, then come with me and let's dive into the world of the Rowan tree. So the Rowan tree is native to Europe, Asia and Africa, but it can be found growing widespread around the world. Some places in the world know it as the Rowan tree, others know it as the mountain ash, and it earns its name the mountain ash because it likes and thrives in high altitudes and grows in rocky places such as the sides of mountains. Now, depending on where you are in the world, it tends to be if the berries are red, in that place, in that section of the world, they know it as the rowan tree, and when the berries are more yellow, they tend to know it more as the mountain ash. So the rowan tree is a humble tree that lives for around 200 years, and in its lifespan, it spends all of its time gracing this good green earth with an abundance of berries every late summer, all through autumn, and sometimes you can even find them into winter. Now, it grows up to around 15 meters tall, and it's pretty easy to identify the rowan tree when you know how, especially this time of year when it's covered in these bright reddish orange berries. They're such a bright shade of red that they almost burn against the blue sky. So let's learn how to identify the rowan tree. So let's start with the rowan's bark. The rowan's bark is a greyish shade of brown and it's covered in these patchy markings all the way up the trunk. And then we have the rowan's leaves. Now what I find really interesting about the rowan's leaves is this looks like many little leaves but it's actually one single leaf. It's what's called in botanical language a uh, pinnate, which means grows like a feather. It's fascinating how mother nature, the trees and also the birds feathers all seem to follow the same design. Now when we look closely at the rowan's leaves you see these little individual looking leaves. These are what's called its leaflets and these grow in pairs on opposite sides to each other and the leaf has one terminal leaf at the end. Now, when we look at these leaflets individually, we can see they're a darkest shade of green and oval shaped, and they have these little jagged serrated edges. The rowan tree tends to have around five to eight pairs of leaflets. Now, in spring, the rowan tree gets covered in these beautiful, bright, creamy white blossoms and these ultimately transform into these big clusters of red orange berries. Now these berries are round, they grow in clusters and when you squash them they're juicy and orange on the inside. Now the blossoms of the rowan tree are edible and so are its berries but just like elderberries you have to cook the rowan berries before you eat them otherwise too many will give you a stomach ache don't worry if you accidentally eat a few rowan berries they're not poisonous they'll just upset your stomach and they don't taste very nice when they're not cooked <laughs> 
Now the Rowan's berries, even though bitter when fresh, can still make many magnificent recipes. And just like rose hips, they get sweeter after they experience a few frosts later in autumn. These berries, even though bitter, they do sweeten up quite a bit later on if you can get them after they've experienced a few frosts. But to catch them at that time is quite difficult because the wildlife absolutely adore the rowan berries. But if you do decide to make some recipes with the rowan berries, there's many delicious ones you can make. They can be made into marmalades, teas, coffees, jams. Most famously, they're made into rowan jelly, which is a kind of like a cranberry sauce with a very unique flavor. Now, I keep mentioning wildlife, so I should probably mention what wildlife feast upon the rowan tree. Well, our precious pollinators enjoy the nectar from its flowers, caterpillars eat its leaves, and of course, wild birds feast and fill their bellies with the rowan berries. Now, one bird that in particular loves the rowan berry is the red wing. <laughs> now, these berries, of course, are great for the health of wild birds and they're also great for our health too and they're absolutely packed full of nutritional and medicinal properties. Rowan berries are packed full of vitamins A, B, C, B1, B12 as well as calcium, pectin, potassium, iron, copper, magnesium and zinc. Now when we look at the traditional medicinal properties of the rowan berries, which is the knowledge passed down through the generations, we can see that rowan berry jam was used as a way of soothing sore throats. The berries are said to be powerfully astringent and used as an infusion to treat sore throats and swollen tonsils. This is said because they reduce the inflammation of the respiratory tract. Now, they also are said to relieve the symptoms of asthma and chest congestion because of this. Now, what I find absolutely fascinating about the world of wild edible and medicinal plants and trees is these traditional uses handed down through time, through the generations to a time, well, from a time long ago, are often proven to be accurate by science today. And if we look in our incredible book here, where we put the traditional uses and then underneath the scientific studies on the plant we can see that the rowan tree is no exception to this and many of its medicinal properties are proven true by science today. One study of rowan berries found the berries to be rich in antioxidants and also antimicrobial which means they can kill undesirable microorganisms. A second study found that the extracts of the rowan tree can even inhibit lung fibrosis which is a lung disease that causes scarring of the lungs and the berries were also found to be rich in carotenoids. This is what gives the berries their powerful reddish orange color. These carotenoids are good for our eyes, good for our cardiovascular health and may even help prevent certain types of cancer. It's absolutely fascinating to me how these colors found in nature are good for our health. The blues of blueberries, the oranges of carrots, the pinks of beetroots, they're all great for us in many weird and wonderful ways. And when I think about these colors in nature, I often find myself ruminating and pondering that big question, where do these colors truly come from? The clouds float by in the sky, they turn from white to a dark shade of grey, they then sprinkle down rain down onto the earth which then sparks life into this dormant seed. The seed then unfolds into a giant rowan tree following its invisible blueprints from within. This tree then blooms in bright beautiful flowers that then curl and twist in and transform into colorful fruits. The tree then intentionally gives these fruits a bright color because it wants to catch the eye of the birds passing by in the sky. It's like the tree truly has an intention. When we think beyond black and white thinking, we can truly see, we really can see that nature thinks, it knows, it sees, 
it hears and it plans out the future of its children. Because when the birds take them seeds and deposit them into the ground, the rain then comes around again and sparks life into that dormant seed, creating a baby rowan tree. The circle of life is absolutely magical and it blows my mind. Now talking about the magic of nature, that leads us to the history, mythology and folklore section of our video. And the Rowan Tree is no stranger to the superstitions and magical folklore stories that can surround many plants and trees. The Rowan Tree in Ireland was once known as the Wizard's Tree. And in the UK, the Rowan Tree for a long time was known as the Witch's Wigan Tree. And this is because they believed that the bright red berries would scare away witches. You'll often find rowans planted in places such as towns and gardens because it was thought this would scare away evil. But it's in Norse mythology where we find the most interesting mythological tale. And that comes from the world of the Vikings. The Vikings knew the Rowan tree as Thor's salvation. And this comes from the belief that the Rowan tree played a role in saving the life of the mighty hammer wielding god Thor when he was stuck in a raging river. You can find the Rowan tree mentioned in the much larger story of Thor versus the giant Garrod. A part of this story tells that during Thor's crossing of the river Vimmer, the river became a raging torrent, almost sweeping away Thor to his death. Thor cursed and shouted at the river, You cannot stop me on my way to the giants. However high you rise, I will rise higher. I will rise as high as the heavens. As he struggled to regain his breath, it was then he looked upstream and saw the cause of the river's deadly raging flow. Geralt's daughter, Gallop. Aha! shouted Thor. He picked up a rock from the raging river bed. A river must be damned at its source, he called. And with a huge strength, he hurled the rock at Gelp, maiming her. She howled, ah! and dragged herself back to her father's hall. It was at this moment Thor became swept from his feet, hurling away downstream in the raging river's torrent. As he was being dragged away to his doom, Thor managed to grab an overhanging branch of a rowan tree. It was with this tree's branch he was able to pull himself from the river, the rowan tree saving his life, earning its name Thor's salvation. And there we have it my friends, our celebration of the rowan tree. We've dived into the world of its history, mythology and folklore, explored its nutritional and medicinal properties, and we've learned all about its value to wildlife and even how to identify this absolutely magnificent tree. As always, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget, to do all the modern world things such as like and subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, ring the bell and share this video far and wide because it really helps our channel to grow so we can keep making these awesome videos. And of course, check out our awesome book that's available now on Amazon. There's more than 60 wild edible and medicinal plants and trees in there, 19 poisonous plants, more than 60 recipes and much, much more. As always people, it's been a pleasure. Look after yourselves out there and I'll see you all next time. Peace. A rowan's berries a bitter bright red, a cluster of vibrant fruits growing and glowing. Oranges and reds burn against a blue sky, call to the red wing passing by. Undelicious, colourful, juicy and ripe, be a shame if you ate something not quite as nice. The red wing swoops dives and zooms, the tree cleared, the red wing no longer lurks or looms, the rowan smiles, waving as her children fly away, wishing them good luck and many more sunny days.